this is the way you would insert the tube into the float valve correctly so it doesn't leak. The white tubing should be inserted all the way in. Push hard and you can feel it lock in. Once it locks in, apply the lock on the outside so it cannot pull out. There. When you pull, you see it you can't pull it. Once I turn the water on, it should be fine. The water is turned on all the way. And it's not leaking, as you can see. This is the end proper way to set up the float valve. When you insert the tube, if it just goes in and you don't push all the way and lock it in and you set it just right on top, like as so, once I turn on the water, you're going to see what happens. It's going to leak because it wasn't set up properly. Inserting the improper way and showing how to correct it when it's improper. This is a common mistake. They put in the tubing, they'll put on the lock, they'll turn it on, and this they won't notice until the evaporation of the water goes down. It's leaking, so I'm going to show you how to fix it. Turn off the water. Take off the lock. And if you even notice that it's still kind of in there, so they really can't tell until they pull it out and they notice it's just the tip. So now, You want to make sure it's locked in all the way, just in hard. Put your ring to lock it. This way it locks in and you can't pull up. Turn on the water. And you see it's not leaking any longer. And I'll show you the water is on.